just two images from the, this uh, embassy. Uh, you may, uh, from the standing, at that time we were doing this, uh, the internet was still kind of text, uh, text-based, like uh, blue text underlined by, and so on. So basically, as you see, we didn't decide for the second life, we decided for the first life, in fact, with the NSK state in time. Okay, then we introduced the passport, it was in 93. Uh, uh, we had uh, uh, we had uh, we started with a with a poster issuing in uh, uh, in different cities. Then we uh, um, open uh, uh, NSK State. This was a temporary state uh, in Volksbühne in uh, in in Berlin. This was even before we start to issue the passport, so the public could uh, enter with a German passport, and we were stamping German passports with NSK stamps. So, or you can get just one day visa for for entering. Okay, during the war, uh, everybody took a part of the land, and we come too, and we took also part of the land for NSK, you know, because uh, symbolically, you know, for, for one. No, uh, ba basically, we were invited by the Sarajevo people, and we uh, come just uh, 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 then it was, it, it find out that we come just at the end of the war. So it was just during the, our stay in, in Bosnia, the Dayton uh, Treaty was uh, signed, so. Uh, this is interesting because um, we have been asking in 93 to participate in Venice Biennale, but we said to Slovenian organizers, we will only go to Venice Biennale if we could be a guest state, so we cannot represent the nation. And they said yes, so this was in the front of Slovenian Pavilion, which was that time on the uh, Piazza San Marco. Okay, these are our different collaborations with uh, uh, armies. Uh, I'll just show some. I, uh, this is our first collaboration with the Albanian army. And what it, does it mean is that uh, 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 we ask real army soldiers to wear Malevich ribbon uh, with a black, uh, uh, I mean, a ribbon with a, a black Malevich cross, and they stay uh, at attention for about one or two hours. So they, uh, this, through this process, they become like a suprematistic army somehow. <laughs> this is the, in, uh, in Kosovo, this we did with uh, Uchaka, with a guerrilla army, which later on became a regular army. This is the Montenegro. This is also, you know, in the, this was organized by the Prince of Montenegro, and he said, "We, our Yugoslav army is not ours." So he said, "I said, w w what is your army then?" He said, "Our police is going to be uh, our army." So this is the first appearance of the Montenegrin army. Uh, this is what we did uh, in uh, in Georgia, but uh, uh, Georgia and Russia. I mean, ex Russia, Tbilisi. We asked for hundred uh, soldiers to write uh, in German Vasiskunst on the field, you know, uh, outside of Tbilisi. So, uh, because we are state, you, we have so, uh, army, every state has a religion as well, so these are the processions. We are doing the procession with different, this is the procession in Austria with a cat Catholic uh, priest, and of course, uh, uh, all the assistants, and yes, yeah, you see. And so, this is uh, the procession we did in Skopje uh, with a bishop uh, uh, of, uh, Orthodox bishop of Skopje, who is also a conceptual artist himself. So here, uh, um, this is the photo of the Slovenian ex-prime uh, minister, uh, not prime minister, minister of foreign affairs, Tadar, who in the 90s uh, said on television that Slovenia should make diplomatic relationship uh, with NSK state, and he almost lost his job. <laughs> uh, this is uh, me in uh, uh, Kosovo uh, uh, giving a diplomatic passport to General Ceku. He asked for it, you know. And uh, this was the first, uh, it was an exhibition of interna international exhibition of contemporary art. And uh, basically, the NSK was the first who, uh, uh, how to say, recognized Kosovo. After that was uh, uh, Afghanistan. Uh, this is uh, um, a story, uh, just three years ago, uh, uh, there was massively, we get, uh, um, how to say, a uh, uh, request from uh, Africa for the passports from Nigeria, and it was, uh, like 1,000 or 2,000, so we went to London and tried to find out what's going on. Because we wanted to, uh, we, we, did, we were not sure if these people understand, and we were worried that they would have a problem of, with traveling and, and so on. So we went to London and we did interviews uh, with, with Nigerians who, live, who were living in London, and they were coming whole family for this. It was a very sad story because they have no, uh, they cannot travel, really, you know. Uh, many of them cannot go outside, many are completely without any documents. So. Basically, then we went there to explain it, uh, and then we also went, uh, uh, a year and a half ago, we went to Nigeria. We were invited there by the Center for Contemporary Art, where we discuss this issue with Nigerians, and uh, we organize uh, like, uh, meetings of the NSK citizens in Lagos and Ibadan. 
So, uh, and we try to explain that this, uh, our state is uh, uh, not in physical space, it is in time. But they said, no, we don't believe you because we heard that people in NSK are doing very well. So we are, we are getting all the time the messages and, uh, and the local radios that were publishing don't believe this, uh, these guys. You know, they are not telling the truth. And it, it, the whole myth about NSK country was created. You know. Basically, we, have, we come there to, to, to disillusion them because we didn't want that people would, uh, would get in trouble. So uh, Nigerian media then reported and the situation uh, it's now stopped. So we, 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 don't, we only get two or three a month. Okay, this was uh, the project there called uh, Toward the Double Consciousness NSK Passport Project. So that was. Uh, this is, these are just some examples of the folk art. Just shortly, uh, we find out that the uh, citizens started to use their own initiatives, and they will tell more about this. And they create uh, uh, some artworks which are based on NSK uh, uh, or NSK groups or NSK state iconography. So, artists from uh, Charles Craft from uh, uh, Seattle. Uh, there are the people in uh, Iceland who are doing their own NSK Garda and send us photo. Uh, this is Ali Pichon from London. Uh, he do this kind of tattoo. He's from, uh, I mean, he's Tel Aviv, but he lives in London. So Christian Naruga, he said him uh, from Nigeria, he, he, was, he sent himself as an artwork. Uh, uh, Christian Matske, uh, he's coming tomorrow. He's from uh, here, I think. Uh, oh, I, I, I have to go back. Uh huh. Just a moment. Sorry. He uh, tra transformed his house, and it's uh, I don't know once or, or once a week. Uh, it is uh, uh, it functions as a kind of library, uh, uh, reading room for NSK. So he has books, uh, movies, and so on. So uh, this is the Congress. I will just uh, uh, others will uh, will uh, probably tell more in the uh, 1910. The Congress was done, uh, and this is not anymore uh, my topic because it will be topic uh, of uh, uh, the speakers uh, which will uh, 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 continue after me. Uh, I can just show you the space uh, where this Congress took place. Uh, and, uh, this is Haus der Kultur und der Welt in Berlin. Uh, these are uh, the citizens, photos of the, ci uh, of the Congre uh, people who were involved in the Congress, uh, delegates and organizers. And uh, I just maybe show this from Nigeria back. You know, this is where we have been in Nigeria. One of the curators of the Center of Contemporary Art, he said, listen, uh, I've seen something incredible in the city. He said, it's, it looks as your poster for our event. And we went there and we look at this. It's time for a new state. Some say you can find happiness there. And we immediately photographed it. We almost uh, were, kick, uh, were cr crashed on the, on, the, on the motorway, you know, uh, because it was very difficult to take a photo. Uh, and then uh, uh, we took it and we started to use it as our own. In fact, this is not a found object. It is in a way, but it's something, it's something strange about this because it was like we found ourselves as we did it. You know. So then we did it in Russia uh, and we are doing it now in many cities called which means uh, uh, the same, is, uh, similar, because in, in, in English you have state uh, has double meaning. In Russia, государство is the meaning of government and state. Isn't it like this? It means maybe? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, basically, um, this uh, poster was immediately forbidden because uh, some politicians were calling that is not, uh, it is not nice, you know, so <laughs> they took it down. So uh, I'm giving now a uh, word to, uh, to the next speaker, which is who? Gediminas. Thank you.